Hi Taurus, welcome to Ascending Soul's Journey. I am Lorianne, your intuitive guidance counselor. We're gonna take a look at the love messages for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Taurus. And if Venus is in Taurus as well. So we are looking at couples, at soulmates, twin flames, the divine feminine masculine energy, and how in balance you are, they are, whether somebody's new coming in your life, because the message that I'm getting for you, Taurus, is I feel like you're getting down into the nitty gritty of something. So this is like, a feeling of, of a heart to heart conversation, getting down to the nitty gritty. You know what I mean? Lay it on, the, lay it all out. Tell me the truth. And we have loneliness on the bottom, which actually coincides with that kind of a feeling, right? When we're lonely, we do reach out. We will actually communicate with somebody as well. Even if we've had that distance with them, that loneliness can bring a heart-to-heart -heart healing kind of a communication for you. But let's pull a card, and we are going to also look at your energy and whoever you are dealing with as well. Change, absolutely. That conversation, getting into the nitty-gritty, that's what this is about. That's creating change. So the stagnancy you've been in, you're like, hey, I'm making this change happen. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. And that's what I feel you are doing. You are making this take place, which is really, really good. So let's take a look at you and we'll pull cards for your partner. Also, you know, some of you, this could be a current situation that you're in, a romantic situation where <clears throat> this change is needed in order to kind of heal and repair that relationship. We have the Page of Wands. This is an action card, taking action to actually initiate change. This is a message. This is communication. Yeah, we have the Seven of Swords. So there was deception. That's the heart-to-heart -heart conversation that I'm, have, I'm talking about, where we're going to change this or it's not going to be. I, I feel you've just grown so much. In your stagnancy, you've evolved, you've grown. You're like, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna do this, okay? I'm gonna make this happen. You're taking action to create change. And this is gonna propel something very positive down the road, whether it's with them, but most definitely with you. So with the Page of Wands, that could be an Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo. <laughs> I was like, did one fly out? I didn't see it. I don't know what happened here. So we do have the Five of Cups. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. So the Five of Cups is the... This is regret, Okay. This is absolute regret. They, whoever you were dealing with, they could have come out of a relationship where they weren't healed. So they weren't focused on you. They were still feeling that inner heartbreak that we have when we, you know, we, we think that's the one we're gonna be with, right? Whatever happens, we really believe we're gonna be able to fix it and heal it. And I do feel that's what's going on. So you, they may have tried, you may have tried in the past. I, I feel you tried in the past to do this and they didn't want to do it. But now they've got that regret. I woulda, shoulda, coulda, I should have done it. Because we have the queen of pentacles. This could be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, and we are talking about you. So this is a general, it's whichever side is more you. And the queen of pentacles is that grounded nurturing kind of an energy like if you're sick okay I'm gonna I'm gonna here here's your food I'm gonna take care of this for you it's a nurturing energy that comes from a place of openness and love with inside right so this is a person who's very financially secure they're usually very happy in their own world when they're in the high vibration but being that they were not they didn't see you they may have even just thrown themselves into their work, not 
paying attention to you and it could have broke your heart. And you, this could be your existing partner being alone under the same roof in the same relationship, even lying in the same bed when you sleep, right? That feeling of loneliness that I'm talking about, it's like, this doesn't feel right anymore. And for some of you, this is a, a, an apology. This is a sincere apology. Somebody coming in, they regret they ignored you. They regret whatever took place. But this is going to be sincere apology and opportunity an offer to move forward with this person. There's love with this person. There really is love. It's like it's in your heart. Which is why you're going to have this conversation. Why you are, uh, I'm hearing the word, instilling this conversation. That page of wands, taking action. We're going to make this happen. We're going to break through the blockages. We're going to bust through whatever's preventing the two of you from communicating, from being on the same page, overgiving, overtaking has taken place in this relationship. So the blockage may be you, Taurus, you overgave. You may have been programmed, taught, raised to do that. Like here, here is everything I have out on the table. You know how when you meet somebody, we do that. We, we don't necessarily mean to, but next thing you know, you're telling them your entire life story and you don't know anything about them. That's not always a good thing. So if this is somebody brand new that you're meeting, this is really you opening up towards to say, I want to learn. I'm not going to, I'm not going to cry over the past, but I am going to feel more grounded and secure about the way that I get to know somebody because it's you, you are the pentacles. You're the earth, right? So you want to make sure that they're telling you the truth, that it feels right, that it goes at a pace that feels like the two of you can bond. <clears throat> so, change is afoot. We have the Prince of Swords and I think it was Sagittarius. I don't know. Somebody else got that. <laughs> I don't remember who it was. The Prince of Swords. That's the communication. This is that communication that you were needing. This is somebody that I feel they didn't see you as marriage material, but they do now. Oh, they do now. Because they may have been, like I said, they weren't healed. They were blocked. They were still stuck in that emotional pain and probably reliving it over. Why'd they do that? Why well, you guys know what I'm talking about. Why'd they say that? Why'd they do that? Oh, what? You? You want to go out? Oh, yeah, no. Why'd they do that where they didn't even see you? You know what I'm saying? But they do now. They see you now. You see? They see you. They see you above the other people around them. So with this Hierophant card, this is about socialized belief systems, traditions, values, religion, and spirituality, right? But it's really about the way we perceive the people around us, and we, we, we take that information because they always tell us what to do, what to say, and we take that information and pull from it what is applicable, and the rest you leave on the ground, and you're going, yeah, no, I'm going to go forward. I'm going to bust through my blockages. I'm going to have this communication because I do feel the two of you, you do too, that this is your one. This is your person. Whether you're with them, whether you're apart, or you may even have recently met them. If you recently met them, I don't feel that you have physically met them yet. I think you've been seeing each other on, on camera and communicating. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is here. And we also have... We have you again. We definitely have your energy on the board. Some of you, this is somebody that I think I really believe you either did ask them, you proposed, and they rejected your offer. Blocked them, overgave, took those lessons and said, yeah, I'm going to move forward. If you want to fix this, 
tell me the truth. I need to know everything. And you're going to get the truth. You most definitely will because change is afoot. So that's good. If it was not the truth, it would be back in the stagnancy. You'd be in the repetitive cycle. But you're going to say, no, 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 no. We're going to fix this. We're going we're gonna to get this all done <laughs> right now. I'm not doing this anymore. I want it back in balance. And the last card that comes out is saying it will become back in balance. You're going to, you're going to flip it a little bit. And I don't mean like the huge karmic scales back into balance, but it is sort of like that. When we overgive, we're feeding into somebody that it's almost like, yeah, run away. I'll keep coming. I'll come get you. <laughs> and, and we don't want you to do that. This person, that's why I said, you guys have love for this person. It's like, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Flirt. Whoever this is, the conversation is going to go really, really well with this person. So it could be talking about this serious topic, but I see a lot of laughter, a lot of flirting, a lot of smiling between the two of you where you know you're going to clear it all up and you can't wait to get to the end of that conversation so that you can move forward. So whatever you're trying to clear up, whatever you are changing, it is going to be 